What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace, and today I'll be going over all of the recent updates to both my 2017 and 2018 draft classes on NBA 2K17. As you guys know, I don't really post these draft class update videos very often because instead of doing updates kind of in bulk, I basically update the file very, very frequently, multiple times a week, sometimes multiple times a day just with small updates so it always stays as updated as possible uh, but not too long ago I actually did a very very big update and I did do that one um, all in one update because it was pretty substantial and in this video I'll be going over that and uh, kind of letting you guys know what's going on with both of my draft classes right now so um, the other day I decided I was going to move players between the 2017 and 2018 draft class if you guys follow me on Twitter you'll already know about this because this happened probably a week or two ago I'd say probably about two weeks ago um, and I let everybody know in advance because I know when you move players from um, like the 2017 class to the 2018 class or vice versa it can create a little bit of uh, confusion in my league and my GM because you might end up with duplicate players now that's a little bit, um, I don't really want to go into how that exactly works, but um, basically if you up, if you use an older update of the draft class uh, and then you use the newer update of the next draft class, you might end up with duplicate players. So uh, in order to prevent that, I tried to give everybody fair warning. You can kind of work around that a little bit this year because you can edit the draft classes uh, midway through the season. Uh, but this is something that has to happen because obviously now that we're inching closer to the end of the college season we're more clear on which guys are going to be declaring for the draft and which guys are going to be returning um, so obviously that needed to be updated and the reason why I don't update that frequently is just because like I said uh, that would create a lot of issues in my league and my GM and you just end up with duplicate players a lot so uh, I put a full list on Twitter you guys can go back to my Twitter timeline you might have to search back a little while um, if you want to find the list of players um, but basically I moved guys from the 2017 class to the 2018 class and vice versa I did that for probably um, I don't know maybe like 10 guys went from 10 to 12 guys maybe went from 2017 to 2018 and a little bit less went from 2018 to 2017 um, but that's basically what I did and I also did um, an entire ratings revamp as well as updated the appearances uh, such as like hairstyles and accessories and facial hair and all that stuff uh, for really every single player in there so you should have just about as updated appearances as you can possibly get obviously uh, some things will still change obviously with the uh, NCAA tournament coming up I'll be watching a lot of different teams and a lot of these draft prospects are going to be in the NCAA tournament so I'll be able to keep up with that even more but everything should be pretty much updated from an appearance standpoint as far as the ratings changes some of the specific things I did was I updated the shot tendencies and touch tendencies for a lot of the players I think a lot of those were too low especially for the high rated prospects I had some people telling me that uh, you had some really high rated players in my league and my GM but they weren't really putting up numbers because their tendencies were too low um, you know their shot tendencies and stuff so I updated that uh, I reworked uh, potential a little bit for some guys and I updated overall ratings obviously to um, kind of line up with players current draft stock so all that's updated if you guys want to see updated ratings um, just overall ratings and potential ratings you can always check out the spreadsheet that's linked in the description um, of all of my recent videos uh, and you guys can check that out and it just shows that's updated every single time I do an update I update that spreadsheet so you can keep up with everything uh, very very easily another thing that I haven't you know since it's been a little while since I've done an update video like this tons of players have been added I can't name them all off the top of my head but it's definitely over 20 new players have been added since my last update video so as you guys have been seeing I've just been scrolling through here uh, showing you guys every player that's in the draft class as far as more players being added, I don't know. I think I basically hit the limit. I have a literally 149 of 150 creative player slots filled up, which is crazy to me. This is the most uh, work I've done on 2K so far in the three years that I've been doing this. So I'm basically out of slots. I think I've covered just about everybody uh, that's on draft boards. There are obviously some guys, and there's no way I can get everybody, um, but I think there's a very very good amount of players in the classes each class has over 60 players so you should have a full draft every time 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with that. So that's pretty much all the updates I've done. Again, these are going to continue to be updated. Uh, and make sure to follow me on Twitter so you can stay up to date with all of those. Because like I said, it, it takes me a little while to sit down and make a commentary about this stuff. But when big updates happen or players are added to the draft class and everything like that, I can just quickly tweet it out and you guys can know. So make sure to follow me over there at Embrace Pace. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.